Okay, so why are we here today? If you look over here, this is uh, Värdshuset Rödorm and uh, over there is uh, the old E4, an A road uh, that uh, previously took us from uh, Uppsala, my hometown, to Mehedeby. And uh, then the, the motorway started in Mehedeby. And uh, today I'm on a road trip going to Söderhamn, which is about a three hours drive along the old roads. Uh, really nice uh, part of, uh, of my hometown. And uh, when this was the A road, of course, uh, many of these restaurants were open and there were also uh, petrol stations along here. But uh, today we'll have a look at a couple of these uh, old places and see what they have uh, become today. Uh, I started bright and early at uh, 5 a.m. this morning, uh, just because I would like to uh, catch up and, and uh, head for a museum in Söderhamn when they are opening at uh, 10 a.m. So that's my car and over this there is uh, the E4, the main road between Uppsala and Gävle basically. Before I got to Björklinge I passed Svista and Svista Värdshus, basically an old motel. It has been like this for 13 years now. As you can see it's almost ready to be demolished. Right beside the Björklinge church is this statue of Gås Anders made by the artist Brorjort. I was able to get a nice picture of it in the morning sun. Currently in Monkabo, and uh, the thing we're looking at right now is an old petrol station which uh, doesn't really show that much. Uh, but if you look over here, that's basically a grill where you can buy hamburgers and uh, sausages and things like that. And if you look over there again, over there is Prim, which is a petrol station today, the only petrol station in Monkabo today. And the road over here, that's uh, the old that's the old E4 road. This is an old map of the road from Stockholm to Härnösand, a tourist guide. Apparently this uh, map is uh, really old. You can see that uh, the colors have faded away. Uh, it's still possible to, to um, see what's actually... Let's uh, go a little bit closer right now. Over there somewhere which is uh, Monkabo. We're going to travel over to Söderham, which is uh, basically over there. This is an ostrich farm. I'm not too sure how long they have been around. I think they started after the main route was moved to the new road. This was a petrol station before. Now they are trying to run a restaurant serving pizza. Selves car salvage is still around, even though they are not that many cars passing nowadays. Another old petrol station, now also serving pizzas. This is a funny place. They apparently collect wheel covers. We are currently in Mehedeby, which is uh, close to the Dalelven Dal River. And have a look at this. It looks like a Chinese temple. But we are in Uppland, in the middle of uh, between Uppsala and Gävle, so that's uh, kind of crazy. Look over there. Also looks like some sort of Asian palace. And we'll have a look at uh, another place over here as well. As you can see, this also looks like some sort of a... So, to translate this, this says, Welcome to Dragon Gate. Since 2007, a piece of China has uh, stood on this uh, place. Unfortunately, it was never finished. Now we are working on making this place come alive. You can help. Enter. Have a look. Have a fika and uh, try us. Try to uh, solve the Dragon Gate riddle. Funny. Wow, this is really special. It says that this is a Viking trail. You have arrived at the pilgrim route that leads present day visitors from Turkey to Trondheim. This 1200 km route meanders over sea and land through the most diverse landscapes. 
Nearly a thousand years ago, people wanted to travel to Nidaros, the medieval city of Trondheim, to visit St. Olaf's burial site. Where Olaf Haraldsson was king of Norway, 995 to 1030. And after his death, he became the most important Nordic pilgrim of the Middle Ages. A pilgrimage is a new way to experience an inner journey, lead a simple life, enjoy nature's beauty and meet new people. Along the route, there are several historic places and sites to see, each more wondrous than the next. Good luck on your journey back in time. It says uh, that the old trade drone between northern Sweden and Lake Mälaren region passed through Elvkalabi. This was where the goods were transferred to a ferry across the river or to a larger boat for further transport along the coast. Elvkalabi became a center of trade for fish and grain. So this is downstream and there's a power plant nearby. As you can see this is a fairly big place actually. Lovely river. This hotel is closed, not just because of the Covid thing. They have struggled for several years to make it. I still like the look of this lovely building here in El Colaby. Salmon fishing is common around here and the island in the stream is called Laxön. I have already reached Söderhamn and the old military airfield. This was the old guard post for entering the military site. There is still some flight operations here. The old air traffic control tower is still there. I have now reached the museum of the military airfield. This is what the command center housed deep inside the mountain looked like. The museum have several aircraft models. This is what the airfield looked like. Notice the railway near the start of runway 30. This is what the soldier quarters looked like. You can even hear the man snoring. Air traffic controller. They are proud of their flight simulator, a real cockpit from an old aircraft. Let's end this session by looking at some pictures of things to see at the museum and then have a look at the things that I experienced in the city of Söderhamn. currently in Söderhamn and uh, I've been to the museum, had something to eat and did uh, charge up the car as well. So now I'm thinking about going to a second hand shop and then uh, go to one of the lookout points. This was the old central station but since the tracks were moved this is now just a lovely looking old building. Over there is Oskarsborg. Now there's a lookout point. There's also a scene and some other things to do on top of there. To see more videos about uh, travel and photography, you should uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon again. Bye bye.